Welcome back, everybody, to the second ever episode of Three Dudes in Their 20s featuring uh, Grant, Tobin, and Will. What up, guys? And holy crap, guys, like the amount of support that we've gotten like just over the past two days. Our episode dropped two days ago. This, it's it's unbelievable, man. It's it's so awesome. Um, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Don't look at him don't like that. that I won't look at him like that anymore. <laughs> Will's just got a sparkle in his eye the past 36 hours just because of because all of Because I the, don't sleep. Because I literally do not sleep. That And I was going to say just because your gratitude of this whole, hey, this that, whole That's day. a bad habit. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm trying to break that, man. Oh, habits. It's rough. It's habits. Bro. What? What? What about habits, man? What are we talking about today, Tobin? We are talking about good habits and bad habits and how to get better habits. But first... I honestly want to give a few thank yous before we start this. All right. Um, I want to thank my cousin, Nathan Snook, um, because he offered to do a lot of the editing and stuff, and he made a few of like uh, like the posters and logos and stuff. So I really want to thank him uh, and for future stuff if he ever decides to help out with, the, help out with us. Um, also, a buddy from back home reached out about some podcast stuff, and he actually has a podcast of his own that I didn't know about. Oh yeah, and what's called, it called? It's called Sports Geeks. Tap in. Sports Geeks. So yeah, what's, you, uh, what's the uh, owner of the podcast? His name is Josh Keeney. All right, so shout, shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. Um, if we can, <laughs> put like a picture right here. Yeah, his we'll podcast. do something like that. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to him. Go check out his podcast if uh, you guys are into sports and stuff like that. But yeah, I yeah. Mean, um, just following those thank yous. All I'm just gonna thank. Um, obviously our placeholder of this whole thing, Defiance, and some of the faculty and students and all of the people that have tuned in this past, I think we're on like hour 47 or something. That's a random number. But but just uh, all the support and, um, you know, this whole thing is just pretty incredible. So just want to thank you guys, and we're going to keep pushing out good content. Yeah, I mean, yeah going along with the school, um, shout out to Dr. Lozar and the um, exercise science. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank out. you. So that, that, I mean, that was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, just thank you to, again to everyone who's watched. Shout out to my dad. My dad watched the first episode. Chris Garlock. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to Chris Garlock. Shout out to my dad as well. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I've, uh, the amount of people who just go, oh, hey man, I watched your podcast. You that's, know, it's, down, it's such a good feeling, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. The amount of text messages I've received. Um, oh man. That's times, like, yeah. it was really cool. Like my roommates, I, I walked up to, uh, my room on Monday night. Mm-hmm. And my roommates were in my room watching. Yes, yes. dude. I'm walking oh, up the stairs. That's got to be a great feeling. It was. It was good. I was walking up the stairs. And I'm like, the heck? I, I hear my I hear my voice. And I'm like, and I go, oh my god, they're watching it. And I walk. Yeah. In, they're like, oh hey, yeah. hey, mm-hmm. big uh, big podcast guy. Now. <laughs> yeah. So it was cool. My my roommates watched it, and, and that meant a lot to me. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. A few of my buddies sent me like a video of them watching mm-hmm. it too, which is awesome. And then, yeah. Just some of those random text messages throughout the day of like, Mm -hmm. you guys are awesome or I really enjoyed the episode. You know, we appreciate all the little things. So it's a a good, it's a good feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, with that being said, I mean, let's get it started, Tobin. Yeah. So I started off with a question for Grant last time. So, question for Will. Um, I guess what is one, uh, one good habit that you do every day and why, you know? One good habit I do every day? Yeah, like what's something that, you know, start your day off? What's something that you kind of need to do, uh, start the day off, I guess? Whether it's good, I mean, good or bad, I guess. I don't know. Um, Rough, uh, I, I know it's probably bad, but the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is uh, I roll over and check what time it is. There you go. <laughs> you know, that's, that's probably smart. Yeah, because yeah. you always have the irrational fear. That you've overslept, always late for something. Always, That's yeah. Thing. Um, and for me, it's always two hours, three hours before when that's supposed to be is. So it's one of those things where I'm like, oh man, practice at ten. I'm driven. I look over and it's seven thirty. Mm. I'm like, oh, your body just kind of yeah. wake. I feel like oh, my wow. body wakes itself up when there's something important. Right. The morning, the next morning. Yeah. And it's because like, you go to bed thinking about it. Yeah. And it yeah, wakes and you then up. You start tripping, and that's one thing mm-hmm. every day. I also check my phone when I wake up. Every day, that's probably a bad thing. I, mean, I think we like, all kind of do it to some extent. Yeah, I roll over. Well, like, granted, that's checking the time. Like I always check what time it is, so I always look at my phone mm-hmm. to see if like you know anything happened. Is it like an immediate two hours? I roll slept. over, check the time, and then you're on your phone for a, like a little oh, bit no. to wake you up, or is it? Oh, I get right out of bed. No, I think it's roll over, realize it's real life, 
check my phone to see what time it is, see who texted me, Snapchatted me, emailed me, X, Y, Z, right? And then I just you know, giddy up and go with my day. So, there you giddy go. up and go with your day. I love that. How about you, Tobin? How do you yeah, start your day, man? Oh, so my day, we can kind of talk about it later, why I do it. But like, I usually listen to music, like right when I wake up. Um, so I wake up, check the time, you know, I set an alarm. Uh, right when my alarm goes off, I just hurry up and shut it off because I hate it so much. I hate the way it facts, sounds. Facts. But those are the best Dude. alarms, right? The oh ones my that gosh. Get you got- the ones that just get you like woken up and you're like, oh, I got to get the rid of The ones that sound. get you Boom. the giddy up and go in the morning. You, you got to get to a point where you don't need one. Dude. I don't know if that's just I haven't got to that point, but I, I think that's pretty much pretty close to insomnia. But I, you just don't need one. But yeah, I listen to music. Gets my mind working a little bit. Um I don't know, you know, simple things like brush. Your is it like the same sort of song or is it? It's it's different. Different. Yeah. yeah because I wake up and sometimes I'm the same way. I have a song that's like stuck in my head. It's either one that I've been listening to the previous day or sometimes my mind just works in a way where it just is thinking of a song. Like it's funny, but the night the what was it? Tuesday mm-hmm. or the day after we filmed or whatever, like I woke up and ain't no mountain high enough is stuck in my head. Of course it did. Of course it did. Of course you know? it did. But um, I think it's just, for me, music is is kind of like my coffee as well. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I know I know. Toby will be listening to that Thistle and Rose. Thistle and Rose. Oh, hey, oh my gosh. Rose. Shout out to Professor Elaire. Shout out watches, to Professor Elaire. Like, but that yeah, is in my head. That is inside, inside, the most inside joke I could say. Oh yeah. Um, Choir, bro. I don't know if you guys do this. A big thing for me is I, I make my bed every day. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I started about like three or four years ago, honestly. And it was after watching like a military movie. And I don't know why I just got in that mindset like, oh, I need to make my bed every day. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, re- I read a study the other week. It was like, it takes two months to form a habit. So like, obviously, you know, four years later, I'm pretty much doing that every day. Um, so that's a big thing that kind of starts my day. I make the bed. Um, probably pop some music on and I have like a devotional I, I usually read. So mm-hmm. I'll flip the page and, and look at that. I think today's was along the lines of um, basically you get what you ask. Like you need to ask bigger. Okay. Um, so, so what do you, what exactly do you mean by like ask bigger? Um, like look at the bigger So obviously picture? it's like, you know, talking to God and stuff. Like a lot of times we'll ask about little things about our life, like little successes. But um, I think the overall picture was it was just discussing, um, asking something greater, uh, you know, having faith to ask something greater. Um, So, for example, like I was like, I hope I had, uh, like I hope I passed one of my assessments I had for today, but then I asked like, um, like I knew we, uh, I knew uh, we were gonna set up an interview earlier um, that we had today, so I like asked that something good would come out of that. And right. Honestly, it it kind of happened that way. So yeah. Um, I think any usually the devotion just gets my mind rolling on the day. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's good. So what do you think? Um, for a good habit, what do you do? You think there's like a foundation for a good habit? Like, is there like a base almost? I think. And this was a thing that I kind of started trying to figure out a couple of years ago was uh, like what a day should look like. And you see like a lot of YouTubers or like influencers and they'll be posting about this is what my day in the life is. This is what I do. And they like video recorded and everything. But then I watched this one video and it was a pretty much a guy that just called out all of those people that do that and that. Mm-hmm. None, not to say that's not true, but like a lot of that is irrealistic. And I feel you can't base your personal like daily routine or life off of like directly off of somebody's. I think you kind of have to formulate your own. So I had to learn that. And that's kind of what I stuck with. So it's we talked about it last week, but taking different routine, different names from different routines and uh, contributing in, into something of my own, I guess. Yeah. What about you, Will? You got anything to add on that? Like a foundation of what you kind of think a day would look like or something? Um, I think it's every day is different. So I think that's good. So so a yeah. day in like thinking about that, doing like the day in the life stuff is it's kind of irrelevant. Okay. Because like that's only one day. Exactly. Because like 
yesterday was completely different than today was. Mm-hmm. Right, and big tomorrow, win last night, huge, ginormous win last night. Uh-huh. Um, but then, like like tomorrow is completely different than what today was, right? And you never know. And like Friday, different Saturday, Sunday. Like, every day is different. Doesn't matter what it is. Like, yeah. like I'll take like myself for example. Right, mm-hmm. yesterday we had a game, so it was class all day. Right, whatever game. Boom. Today was I had nothing in the morning. Well, I class out a lot. I forgot. It's Wednesday. I had class in the morning, got breakfast, then uh, had to do some other work. Uh, went to our little interview thing. Had to be a, had to speak at the board trustees meeting. Then had class all day, right? And that's what. And that now we're here. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow yeah. we get basketball practice. So just class all day, basketball. But then you know, it's different every single day, right? So it's one of those things where uh, I think those day in life videos are irrelevant. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. much what I'm kind of getting at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're saying the same thing, but I'm, but I'm like I'm going a little bit like with my perspective of it, right? Because like they're just, they're just irrelevant because. A day in the life is not true because mm-hmm. it's always different. Because it can always be different. Like yeah. you could you could be doing like when these YouTubers do it, right? They're editing one day, they're shooting another day, they're doing this another day, they're at this mm-hmm. event another day. Like th- like that's not your every day. Yeah, they're not oh. getting up at five in the morning to set their camera up to then like look like they're going and waking up. Exactly. You know, obviously, so there's a lot of discrepancies I think there, and that's one thing we're trying to just bring out on this podcast in general is just being real and genuine, like. We're just normal guys, like just three dudes. We in our wake 20s. up, yeah, just three dudes in our twenties. We just wake up and we, you know, listen to music or make Literally. our bed. Like that's a realistic day in the life. Yeah, but it's something that gets us going. We're normal. Yeah, we are normal. <laughs> What's that from? Is that a Yoda? Squidward voice. <laughs> we are normal. We are Squidward. Normal. Yeah, I did not know we were normal. I've. We're I'm not a big. I'm not a big SpongeBob guy, but hey, let's hear your best SpongeBob laugh right here, dude. No, you, dude. No, don't ask me to do any impressions, bro. <laughs> Shout out to I'm Evan Park. Get one out of you. Shout out to Evan Park on the uh, men's basketball team. He can do a really oh nice my gosh, impression. Dude. It, 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 like it puts I, every other one's a shame. You know, it, like you should always try to ask me to do impressions. I'm going to get one eventually. Knowing knowing that, like... I'm going to get one eventually. You're going to blow my impression out of the water. Well, I wasn't planning on doing one. Well, your John F. Kennedy impression was pretty impressive, I will say. I, uh... uh, That's what John Kennedy's talking. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, Peter. (laughs) My Joe Swanson's pretty good. Yeah, that's Um, pretty good. But yeah, so Tobin, how do you feel about all that? How do you feel about all Um, these days and such? I mean, something I kind of want to talk about. I think the main foundation is kind of like you know, our brain, like our mindset and stuff like that. Um, I did a speech not too long ago uh, or actually last year about how I think it's good to um, like have a routine and stuff like that, you know, but I also think it's good to not replay the same day over and over again. But I think something Grant shared with us last week is, and something I really liked is looking at gratitude, looking at the brain as itself as a muscle, right? So actually I brought a whiteboard. Oh, for all those listeners so, out there, he's bringing a whiteboard. He's bringing out. out a whiteboard right now. He's what are we bringing so, a whiteboard right now? I want to write something down for you guys. All right. There's not going to be a spelling test, right? You know, no back in test. back in third right, grade, man. this is another throwback story for Grant. But I really messed up in the spelling bee. I had like a whole student section. Everybody was cheering. They they thought I was going to win the whole thing. First round <laughs> comes along. Your word is Robin. R O B B I N, Robin. <laughs> is it Ian? Wrong. No, it's just one. It just one B. Oh, it's <laughs> it was funny. I be- didn't even know. It was funny because see, that's a hard word. But it was funny because the kid before me, though his word was cat. He goes no K- way. He goes K A T. He's walking off the stage. He goes, I know. There's two T's. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, Tobin, next topic. All Let's right. go. So here, here's what I want to share with you guys. It's exactly what I just said, right? Brain equals muscle. So think about when you're lifting, okay? We're going to look at personal trainer. We're going to look at this like a lifting sense. Okay? Personal trainer, Tobin. Yeah. Yeah, you lift well? I do, do, I be getting do you even gym. lift, bro? Bro, I'd be getting in the gym, Dodo Cat. I'd be yeah? small, bro. Yeah? All right. So what is something about like the gym, like with muscles that you have to like know to, to lift, you know? like you To know what weight. You're capable. Yeah, of. right. But if if you don't go there for a while, like what's gonna happen? You're, you're gonna, gonna get weak. you're gonna get weak yeah. or sore whenever you go back. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, but you're gonna get weak. Use it or lose it. Use it or right? lose it. That's a yeah. good phrase. Use it or lo- you probably can't read this honestly. Use it or lose it. Okay. So if you look at it like in both ways, you know, like you don't use your muscle, you're going to lose it, you know? Mm-hmm. But if you, if you don't use your brain, like if you're not constantly doing stuff like 
like one of the habits that I wanted to talk about was reading or, yes. you know, playing mm -hmm. certain music. I'm a big music guy, so obviously I like to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But like if you don't read for a certain amount of time, like it's going to be more difficult for you to to read. And same thing with learning in general. If you take a break from learning, it's going to be might be harder to retain information or something like that. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of the first thing. Um, what else do you guys think kind of makes it similar? As far as comparing the brain to the muscle? Yeah. Um, I got like two more things in mind, but if you have another one, like... Give me give me a hint. Give you a hint? Put it in a sentence. Um, put it in a sentence? I don't, I don't know. Uh, what happens if you go to the gym too often? Um, well, your muscle fibers start breaking down too much and... Uh, Sorry, I'm getting a little... No, sorry. that's a bit too deep. Okay, okay. This is completely okay. out of my world. This molecular is yeah, molecular history, biology guys. just This took is not about there. historical events. Uh, but I mean... That's like, not, it's on the same page, But right? you get a little bit too sore, but you get... Over time, like, you're kind of, like, not reaping the benefits from it, I guess. Right. You get burned out. Break down. Break. I mean, not break down, but break. Like, give yourself a break, you know? Oh, that's big. If you're going to the gym, like, if we're looking at it as brain as a muscle, which we are, if you're yeah. going to the gym for eight hours a day lifting weights... You're going to burn out. You're, you're going to be burned out. It's, it's not going to do anything anymore. And yeah. it'll eventually lead to atrophy, which, you know, it's just loss of muscle. But... It's just like studying, right? If you're studying for eight hours a day, like that's not really a good habit. I mean, yeah, you might be retaining some information, but the more you do it, it's just, it's not going really, not to really be beneficial anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's big. Like I had a gonna... friend of mine who um, recently wrote an article about um, the importance of breaking during like study time. Yeah. And um, then I kind of did a little research on my own. And there's this method that I've kind of been sticking to with especially when I was studying for um, like my MCAT and everything, but it's the called the Pomodoro method. Okay. I've never heard of that. It's either Pomodoro or Pandora. I'm going to have to check myself on that. But basically you study or this can be pretty much any activity for 25 minutes. You set a timer and then as soon as that 25 minutes is up, you immediately take a break for five to 10 minutes. And the break is supposed to serve as kind of like a, um, like something to look forward to, obviously, like like a treat, I guess. So this could be scrolling on your phone, like looking through Instagram, if yeah. that excites you, or reading a different book or putting on a TV show or just like literally just like taking a mini brain break or a mini nap or something and then getting like right back after it, right, right after that five minutes is up. And you do this for, you know, a time period of like two to three hours and you find yourself actually getting a lot done and it's worked for me. Yeah. So. I think it's good too to not punish yourself, you know, like, like you don't have to punish yourself to do so much of homework at one time. You can give yourself a little bit of a break, like that 10 minute break you're talking about to scroll through TikTok, whatever it is you want to do. Yeah. I know like Will was like the other night, he had like a lot of homework. Do you want to maybe like describe how you kind of like. Did you just you, grind it all out? Yeah. Like, do you, how do you like maximize your time as far as like homework and like all that stuff? I don't like that look you're giving me, dude. <laughs> Make me laugh, bro. Um, I just do it. <laughs> Nike, like, like yeah, literally, like shout out. I got a Jordan hoodie on, but um, <laughs> but no, dude, like, like I just do it. So that's one of those things where, in my life, especially until, like, before I got to college, before I knew, like, I actually like kind of had a decent, like, brain type deal, right? Mm -hmm. It was one of those things where homework was a grind and reading was a grind. Reading still is a grind. Dyslexia is not fun, but um. Yeah. It was just a grind, right? And that's what it was. And I've always seen it. I was like, oh, man, I hate doing homework X, Y, and Z. Now it's just like, it's not too bad. I can sit down and I can, I can saddle up and I can do it, right? Right. Um, one saddle of those up. Saddle up. I always say. All my rough riders out there. <laughs> <laughs> Go riders. All right. Um, I always set like a, I don't want to say a prize or like an end goal or something for it. Sometimes it's, you know, laying in and <laughs> finish like, homework so I can get in my bed, turn on some YouTube and go to bed. Like, that, like that's mm -hmm. one thing. Or it's like one of those things where. I can build that Lego set I just got. Exactly. Right? Oh, it's big Lego guy. Ginormous. Lego What's your man. favorite Lego that thing that you've built that like built? up to this point? Ooh, wow. That's a real this good is, question. This, this is a and this is a question so for a Tobin as well. This oh my gosh. So I knew this was coming. And, and I don't really care. Um, so either I built, I recently just built Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. Yes, I am completely nerding out, by the way. And I do not care. Flame me if you would like. That's fine. Um, Comment section. Fine. Steve Please. Bear. 
please. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Bear, flame me. Because you said my you said my X Wing was cool. <laughs> um so either I got three. I got three things. And I always pick I don't know why I always pick things in three. So uh my X Wing that I recently just built. Um look I Luke Skywalker's X Wing. Uh the Inquisitor ship from Obi Wan Kenobi, the series. That was sweet. I I like I really Oh it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the huge one. It took me like five hours to build, but it was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um and then uh I have the uh the Batmobile from the Dark Knight. I oh nice. I love those. Batman. So those are those are probably the three that Where I really is she? Where is she? <laughs> Rachel. Rachel. Batman. Um yeah, that's probably that's probably the three that I really enjoyed building and honestly, bro, I always I tell everybody it keeps me from Run the one up, run up a wall. Like <laughs> there you go. Like, so like you it, get your assignment done, and then you go like yeah. build the Legos, oh, that yeah, kind of thing. Legos, if I got okay. Um, or I mean, like it keeps me sane. I like to say it keeps me sane to build to build Legos. Just sit back and relax. Because <laughs> like, and sometimes you know, my parents never do this. Like mm-hmm. they they are full for me doing it, and they love it. Um, because I think because this is always a joke I like to make. I always like to go. I could be putting my money into a lot worse things for myself. Oh, oh yeah, right. You know, so that's one of the things where I think my my parents. There you yeah, go. You know, he's he's fine. He can keep. Yeah, he can keep it, being going. a college kid, I think it's important to have. It might be some considered childish. It's not. It's really not. It's a, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> They're childish for saying that, but. Uh, you could be putting your as a college, you could be putting your money in so many worth it, worse things. Oh like, my gosh! I mean, yeah. they're I mean, like a lot of our teammates, they're like all into like shoes and everything. I mean, that's something I kind of got oh, into, yeah, yeah. or like oh, you know, I'm a sneakerhead. It's Don't not sneaker bad. Head, I'm a sneaker head shoes. Too, I yeah. feel like all of us we kind of have like interest in multiple facets of life. Yeah, but yeah, but so like talking about that as far as like rewarding that's the word i was looking for yeah, rewarding, rewarding yourself rewarding. Like yeah. after you complete that task or whatever so like now we're kind of coming to the end of the day is mm-hmm. there anything i'll tobin i'll jump to you i guess that you like to do to kind of have as a nightly routine or a, something that you do in the evening um the evenings usually I think my free time, sometimes I kind of give myself a break in the middle of the day, which is not what everyone does. And I've come to realize that people like to grind everything out and then just have the evening to relax, which I'm kind of like that at some points. But I think the middle of the day, um, if I need it, I'll take a nap. If I didn't get enough sleep the night before, Mm -hmm. which six to eight hours of sleep is pretty. I do recommend seven to eight. Seven to eight, six to eight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not always possible. but Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders. Or three, three to four. That is not. That's what good. melatonin's in for. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that doesn't work. You know, just get two to three. Yeah, in the evenings, like if I have a Lego set, I'll build a Lego set. I play some, play some video games sometimes. I might read if I'm in the mood. Mm-hmm. Um, what about piano? And then piano, yeah. guitar. If I want to do any of that kind of stuff, like I just got a new piano, so obviously I want to break that in a little bit. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty much how my evening goes. So I might hang out with some friends, you know. Yeah, most that's kind of what Will likely said. you guys, but yeah, it's kind of what Will said. Every day is different, um, mm-hmm. but there's common themes, I guess, throughout. Um, for me, it's the same kind of thing. I mean, I don't really do the Legos, but I I like to listen to other podcasts, or I like to watch videos, or um, I mean, when basketball season's around, you know, you're paying attention to a lot of the basketball type of thing. Um, getting ready for golf, I'm sure I'll probably be looking up different golf videos or just how to just how to be better i guess um but also like one thing i like to do like right before i lay down it or like right before i close the eyes is like obviously i i'm a big scripture guy so i get in the bible a little bit that's my reading time mm-hmm. i think that kind of pushed me into reading because i'm never really a big reader but then i was like well there's one book i guess i could read and probably be smart to read i don't know why will's looking at me like that but <laughs> it's the only one he got it's the only one. Only, only look it's the only one you got, man. I just won't look at you anymore. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah. So I I always uh, finish the day with one <laughs> passage a day on the Bible app, and that kind of gets me going. Um, this guy has no idea. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> I was <man>. just kidding. <laughs> like, but, I don't know why you just laughed. I don't yeah. know why you laughed though. What? Okay. So what? What do you think the last thing on my list is then? For see, we got use or lose it. Break. Like give yourself a break, and then um. Think, thinking about like starting your day. I mean, well, you're well that's, you're... that's one thing I didn't mention, but a big thing I usually do is hydrate. I think it's important to drink water and, you know, not only for your body in general, but for your mind. So I'm yeah. a big, like, obviously I got my water here, but. Um, yeah. Like I, when, you, when you start your workout, what do you think? Like, what do you need to do before you start your workout? You got to stretch, up, man. Gotta you got to warm up, up man. 
You got to get that blood Look flowing. Look at you. You're such an A student. <laughs> Steve, is that he, true? He passed. Uh, Dr. Bear, is that true? Warm up. Give yourself a warm up. Warm up, man. So, I mean, like for running and stuff, that could be, you know, high knees or whatever. whatever. Chicago. Or, you know, like Cord Phelps and the, the arm thing, the swimming, stuff like that. But like for warm up, like right when you wake up, right? Like your brain's still kind of sleepy or you take a nap, you wake up, you're feeling kind of groggy. Mm. What do you guys think are like some good ways to wake your brain up? Like right when you get up, like maybe some healthy ways. I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, sometimes I take like some airheads, like quick little sugar burst will get you up and go a little carbohydrate. Yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but like. Whatever works for you, a kind of thing. But yeah, like for me, it's uh, I drink the water. I always make sure I down a bottle of water, um, and that kind of seems to put a pep in my step, as they would say. But I also take. I usually like I like to shower in the morning, so that warm or cold. There's a lot of scientific theories behind like cold showering and the benefits, and I'm starting to research a little bit about that. So I might here in the spring kind of start testing that out. I guess it's a little painful, but. You know, we'll see what we'll see what happens. It's but painful. uh, it's painful. It's icy. It's a little cold. Icy. It's a tad bit cold. It's a tad bit cold. I don't know if Will would ever take think, a cold shower. Bro, I, I literally cold. took a cold shower today. Don't oh, really? Like Never mind. Never mind. Don't even be like that. Cause I took a cold shower today. It's a mindset. That's sometimes, character. I, I, sometimes it is a mindset. House, that's what they say. I go in my house. Sometimes I don't know which one the cold water one and the warm water that one happens. is because I don't I don't know because they're they're like this. They're not they're not like on the sides. They're up and down. So I just turn one on sometimes and I just take a shower. There you go. So normally it's cold. So I don't know. Either one. I don't know. But so what would you thing, say? Yeah. Like warm up. Um, personally, what my dad does. Or cool down in your showers case. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, my dad, my dad will. I know my dad does it every day. So I always get a little notification on Facebook. My dad posts a thing. My dad plays Wordle every single day. Oh, that's like okay. I've heard of this thing. game. Not the Wordle. Yeah, that's like the first <laughs> thing my dad does before yeah, every yeah. day. Like you know, um, it's your brain call, right? It, it does. It does. Like uh, my and my my dad can't test to it. It it does because like you know every day when I wake up it says oh Chris Garlock is posting on his timeline. And I'm thinking <laughs> oh I mean, he wrote something about me probably. You yeah, know, it's just one, one of me. You probably me. And what a guy. Uh, Wordle four out of five. Like, oh okay, thanks dad. Four but, out of five you know, ain't bad. Yeah, four out of five works pretty good. My dad, my dad will, my, my dad's pretty nice with the Wordle, but there you go. I think games like that, you know, like like either Wordle. Scrabble, oh, some like some brain Sudoku. stem activity, yeah, kind of stuff okay. like that, like yeah. Brain Age for the old DS. You just open that thing. This way, you know, DS would open this way. You have to open it like that. Play some Brain Age. Like you had some stuff like yeah. I know, like my dad does that. And I think that's what yeah. And one of my buddies, yeah, this my could be him for any of you guys out there. I don't know if you ever tried this, but playing a game of chess in the morning. My my buddy Colton Nutter does that all the time, and I admire, I, Nutter. I admire him for that because that's it gets your brain moving. It's a nice healthy habit, and it kind of wakes you up. And like even before he starts like every homework assignment, like he plays a game or two of chess just to kind of activate his brain for the amount of work you're going to be doing. You know, I just thought of this, but um, sometimes like before I study or you know go to bed or whatever, like we were talking about music earlier. Do, have you guys ever? Like sometimes when I study, I'll have a song that I like like to and like like to listen to, and then I'll keep it on repeat, and I'll kind of I don't know what it is, but I'll like get in a groove, and I'll just keep that song on repeat until I get that assignment or or you know if I'm writing a paper like get that paragraph done. I don't know if that's relatable or not. I literally did that today. Really? What really? song was it? My girl by Mind's Behavior all day today. That's as why you I were singing everything. it as that's we were walking over here. Walking over, yeah, because it's like man. Okay. Hey, girl, so, how about is, you? Toby? Is that because like you like the song so much, or is it because you listen to it so much on repeat, you just wanted to be over? So you're I feel grinding it out. I feel like, and I've, I mean, I've read a little bit about it, but like, if your brain hears a similar kind of vein over and over again, it it gets in a phase where that's kind of immune or numb to it. So it's almost like background noise. So I'm not even like necessarily paying attention to the exact words or the, you know, it's just kind of like stimulate. I think it might even stimulate my brain just to like want to complete an assignment. Or if I'm working out, I will even do that where I'll just keep on a similar song and, you know, just grind out the workout. And I don't know, it just keep, keeps me going, I guess. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Do you ever feel like you're talking to people and they're like, it's kind of like they do the same thing, except like they're completely focused on something else. Like right, like, like if you're like looking at their their eyes and they're not there. Yeah, kind of like that. Or I don't know, looking at their phone or, yeah, 
something like that. I can tell Will's not picking up what, what I'm putting sorry. down. Yeah. You're yeah. not picking up what I'm he's just, putting it's down. Just like that. I was thinking about nothing. No, no. Yeah, but yeah. I was doing, yeah. Yeah. I do it all the time. That's a big piece of advice I learned once was like, when I'm having a conversation with you guys, like I'm looking at you, like I think eye contact is really important, but I like, I'm in the moment, like I'm present. So I'm like, I'm here with you. So I understand what you're saying and hopefully you can attest yeah. to what I'm saying. Like, I feel like that's really important for a human connection in general is. Right. And I understand that sometimes it's inevitable, but it, it's, it's really just such a, like a, like a, like a darn moment when like people are, you're saying like a story, you know, it's, people are just looking down on their phone. What? Like, you, you know, it just kind of like gaze off you know or something. well that they're not like engaged. Bro, what did you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think it's important to know like those in-person communications go a lot further than, well, nine times out of 10, what you're looking at your phone. I mean, uh, like I said, it's inevitable sometimes. It's yeah. body. I mean, body language is big. And I feel like that was a thing like when we all kind of like one thing I noticed about you guys is like you guys obviously pay really good attention to whoever you're speaking with and communicating with. And I mean, Will's background in coaching and, you know, exercise science, wanting to be with clients and everything, you know, that's a really huge part of it. So to know that you can talk to somebody and they're going to give their utmost respect and attention is, is really big, I think. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's great to look at people when you talk to them. It really <laughs> is. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> and, and, oh, I'm sorry. The light bulb is back on in my brain. <laughs> What's up, guys? No. So, yeah. Um, so, Tobin, how do you feel going off on all this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you start your day and stuff? Um, how, how do you think someone should start their day? Like, if you're, um, like if you're teaching a class or you're... A piece of advice. Yeah, essentially. How do you think someone should start their day? I think you should start your day in any way that's comfortable for you, except for a way that might build a bad habit. You know, um, I don't know. Give me an example of like a bad habit to do in the morning. I would say like well, one that I do literally get on your phone right away. Right. So, I mean, a bad habit, but I do it because I like I don't. So start your day and, you know, whether it's reading, whether it's music, whether it's um, doing a little piece of homework, making your bed, um, do something like that to kind of start your day. It's like, all right, you bet I got that accomplishment done, you know, um, then you can kind of maybe do whatever accomplishment it is, then reward yourself for a little bit. They may think the reward goes a long way um, as long as you're not abusing that award, if that makes sense. Win the day. Win the day. Win the day. Whatever exactly. brings Win you some, day. whatever brings you some positive and, you know, the science term is dopamine. Whatever brings you that dopamine, like continue to build on that. Well, if it's positive. If it's, po- if yeah. it's positive and, yeah. it, you know, it's healthy and everything. Right. I guess my answer to your question would be kind of the, I don't want to say opposite, but like a little bit farther back in time is the night before. And this is what I do is I'm a big list guy, but I plan out not hour by hour, minute by minute, but I plan out some goals or things I know I have coming up the next, the immediate next day. And when I wake up, I just check that list and like, Oh, refresher. This is what I got to do today. Yeah. Writing everything down goes a long way too, because until think like up until this year or maybe last year like I wouldn't write things down I would just count on my brain to memorize oh, everything. Oh that's got to be hard. Yeah but now that now that I started doing that this year not too like not too recently like it's definitely helped me a lot you know crossing it off you get a lot of satisfaction with crossing it off. Mm-hmm. That's so, what I'm saying that's like we're goal oriented here. Yeah so cross, cross off. something off reward yourself cross something else off and yeah. Will, are you a big Google Calendar guy or how do you do that? Not at all and sometimes it burned me like it burned me today. Almost missed something I should have missed. Oh, yeah. Almost missed something I should have missed. But you know what? I I, I actually... Shout out to Dr. Sorrell. She told me the story in uh, Honors Anatomy today. She talked about you coming in a little late to the trustee. Uh, Well, yeah, dude. (laughs) Dude, sorry. I was in another meeting. Yeah. I was in another meeting. I literally had an excuse another meeting. We're busy dudes, man. I I was in another meeting and I had another meeting. But yeah. So you do use Google Calendar then? No, I don't. And I I will not. Okay. Because I won't use it. There you go. Like, it's one of the things like... I don't like. I don't have a planner. I don't use Google. I don't use anything like that. Mm-hmm. I just know when things are. Okay, so you're yeah. still, so you're still you're capable to keep it kind of in, yeah. in your like, mind. And one of those things where one thing, one thing will slip. Like, 
Mm -hmm. today. Every now and then it happens. Like today, it slipped today a little bit. You know, we were we were in that meeting, we were getting locked into it, and I didn't look at the clock. There you go. Yeah. Like that was my thing. And um, I don't know how to use Google Calendar to be honest. Uh, yeah. like, I'm not I, a, I'm not big on it either. But, I just like the old fashioned. I mean, I use my notes section in my phone, but yeah, you write it out. A, and you've had a running note for like two years. <laughs> you've seen my phone. You've seen my oh, phone. Yes, I have seen that infamous list. <laughs> It is infamous, but Dude, yeah, it's been running for like two and a half yeah. years, at least that I know of. It probably yeah. ran before. Just got to giddy up and go, man. Yeah. Facts, bro. Get those X, Y, and Zs out of the way and just yeah. giddy up and go with life. Yeah. All right. So I think to kind of end this episode, we're kind of getting close to. We understand that last episode was kind of a little bit long, a little bit longer, but it was the pilot, so I guess it's kind of supposed to be a bit longer. Yeah, based off the feedback from you guys, like you know. We think we figured out our our niche, I guess you could say, of like time and right. and all that stuff. So, so I kind of wanted to ask you guys, what is like? I don't know. I feel like this should be kind of fun. What's like the like one of the best feelings oh. you, you get? You know, like for for example, so speaking of dopamine, what brings us the most dopamine? No, like like one of the best feelings I get. You know, right? You just wake up, you get that stretch in, right? Your your leg just starts shaking like a cat, like it just oh, oh yeah, you but, know what but I mean? it almost shakes so much where you get the trolley horse, <laughs> but, like, oh. but you can't take it, like. <laughs> <laughs> Will, what's yours? What? <laughs> what's You've yours, never bro? had that You've experience never had before. Like, like it's just the best feeling ever. You're like, no, uh. <laughs> no, pause. No, sorry, pause. <laughs> pause. Coughing my lungs out right now. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, no, not to that extreme. So should we come back to you then? Should we go to Grant? Yeah, next? yeah, because yeah, <laughs> mine's not going to be as interesting as that. So. All right, what do you got? Like one of the best feelings ever. I honestly, um, if I get a really nice text message from a family member, that's been. Or like something like that I've been looking forward to, and then like all of a sudden it's a person that reaches out or something like. Because I I I can remember a story where or I can remember a time when I woke up. It was after like a a medical school interview or whatever, but it was like I got a text message the next morning, and it was like mm -hmm. some of the best news ever. So yeah, obviously that was that was big, but. You made that real sincere, really clear. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Was good, was good. sorry. Yeah, bro, my mother. My, see, this is why I told. Her, that's why I said I was gonna go last. You have to go first or that's last. Here, that's um, I would say it can be wrong in two ways: either proving people wrong, like I love. Oh, that's wrong. a good. It's just like bro, uh, I love know. to prove people wrong, just because you know I'm I'm him. So. Mm -hmm. And then two, um, when I found recently my golf game, whenever I hit a really nice golf shot. Oh, the dude, feeling I, I of it just him. oh and I like I love it when I Whoosh. when I either hit with whatever club and I hit it on the green. It's nice on the green. And, you know, before I know, I'm going to go sell on that putt because I'm going to sell on the putt because what I do. So I'm walking up there. I'm like, dang, that's really good. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, that's, that was a good shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gol golf is like, um, I saw a quote one time. It's like go golf is like a drug in a way, right? Like it, it's like hitting that great shot is like the high, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you'll do anything you can to keep getting that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So like I like. That's something I, I, whenever I hit a good shot, I want to hit another one, right? Yeah. Whenever I hit a bad shot, I want to throw my club in the yeah, water right. and try again, you know? So it's, it's one of those things where I just, golf is probably like hitting a yeah. great golf shot. There's a guy that I golfed with this summer and we're, you know, going through nine holes or whatever. We're on hole like eight. He hasn't played his best game. Like he's a little bit older than me. I figured he was a lot better golfer, but he hadn't like hit his, like hit that shot, you know? All of a sudden it's a par three. He hits it in two. He gets like a long putt. And he's like, it's those shots that keep me coming back. Yeah. And like that was like, Literally. I was like, that could be related to life too. Like it's the little things yeah. sometimes that like keep you, keep you coming, oh, keep dude, you going yeah. back. Exactly. Man. So. And it sucks when those come at the end. Like oh, oh, yeah. the first yeah. birdie I ever shot in my life, I was playing a practice round with, with Zach. Shot, shot the jit, right? Yeah. He and I were playing and I, and I shot a birdie. On, on hole one. There you, you go. Know, I shot a birdie. That'll keep you coming back. And I ended up shooting like a... Like a 50 or 48, 50, something like that, that day on nine. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was the best round I ever played. But at the same time, it was because it started off with a birdie. So, yeah. if I can birdie every first hole, I'll be fine. Yeah. It's, a, it's almost like that baseball where, you know, like you hit that ball just in the right spot uh -huh. of the bat. Sweet spot. Oh, what is that? What is it called? Sweet spot? Right sweet in the sweet spot, spot of the bat. bat. I, that's one of, that's got to be one of the best feelings ever. Told my baseball yeah. guys out there. That's there you go. A, that's my awesome. friend Jonas, he's a, he's a big baseball guy. I'll shout yeah. out to him. What else you guys got? You got any more? 
I, I I got one more. I got one more. I got one more as well. Speak, or, gentlemen. So I, I I got two that kind of go along the same lines. Speak, gentlemen. You got like a really cold glass of water. You just feel it go all the all way, the way down. down the esophagus. Yeah, yeah it just goes like, all the way down. Dog, and like I don't know if this is, this is a tangent. I don't really care again. <laughs> but um, do y'all like when you guys ever like I don't know if it's you're dehydrated or something, but y'all feel water and then you immediately start to sweat it out. What did you just say? Like you, whenever you drink something and you immediately feel like you're sweating. I think I think maybe like I when I'm like actively working out or saying. like in that's a hot saying. basketball gym, yeah. like in yeah. like yeah. mid July. Sometimes sure. like I'll like I'll like I'll drink some water like mm-hmm. when I'm like either playing golf or I'm working out or whatever, and it feels like I'm immediately sweating. I wasn't sweating before, then I'm immediately sweating. there. You go like Ooh. that, like like it already went through my body to cool me down. Nice. There are sometimes like yeah, my, my hands are completely dry. It's just like I think about my hands being sweaty, then it just turns sweating. sweating. Yeah, so. I kind of get what you're saying as far as that goes. Yeah, that's wild. But I, that, that's pretty random, and I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't really care. But um, yeah, but the other ones where you wake up yeah. at like 4 a.m. and you just chug a bottle of water, like, it's, dude, <laughs> yeah, it's man. like the <laughs> best thing. Like, always, no, dude, I hate that. I always <laughs> feel awful if I do that. I feel terrible. My body's like, bro, why? Do yeah. you or like you're drinking the water, and like obviously you haven't ingested any food yet, and it's just like sitting in your stomach, just, and you just feel that water. Like, you where's feel it supposed to go? You feel Gross. the waves of the water. Gross. Yeah. In your stomach. Gross. I think my my last one. As far as the happiness in the morning, it's sometimes, I mean, it's a lot to do with you guys sometimes, but it's, we send each other like beams and stuff oh, and reels memes. on Instagram. <laughs> like sometimes that like little laugh in the morning or like funny day will just keep me, will wake me up and like really get me going. Yeah. So send each other, y- y'all just be sending me memes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, literally. Y'all be sending me memes. And I'm like, bro, add me on TikTok. I'll send y'all some funny TikToks. Man. Bro. Red doesn't want TikTok. I don't have TikTok, <laughs> man. But Crazy, bro. China Instagram can't reels gets the job done. Yeah. Sometimes I, I just did. get on like a, a long streak of going through TikTok or Dude, Instagram. me too. It's you like did, a 10 I minute I just start name. laughing at every single you thing. You did like, send me a TikTok a couple of days ago, and I was very proud of you. I don't even know what it was. I don't remember what it was either. I just know you sent me a TikTok. So I was like, oh, he has me on TikTok? I, I read people's personalities. There you know, go. Like, like certain are. TikToks go with certain people exactly. like, that you know you can send. And yeah. I, I do that too. And that's like the little five-minute break day and I do sometimes. Yeah. That five-minute right. break. Because if you get two or three, sometimes I send you two or three. It's because I've been going through it. And that's just what one happens. Per, one per exactly. minute. I'll get five. Random Instagram messages from Grand Half Moon. Yeah. This, this account is private. You cannot view this. Come on, <laughs> darn it! Come on, darn it! Um, Need to click that follow button. That, that, that's one of the most awful feelings ever. That we want to talk about the most awful, awful yeah, feelings. Like, I'm like, it's it's got to be. All right, I don't know if it's really funny if Grant's sending me it, but I'm like, it's 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 got to be laugh. at least yeah. yeah. So I gotta see what that's it is. laughable. Post you know? unavailable. Yeah, it's the worst. So what do, you, what do you think? Like the worst feelings ever. Getting getting any Instagram reel from Grant Johnson. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good at <laughs> comedy, man. Like, I That's think so I got bad. some good sense of humor. I think, you know, like you're walking around in a white pair of shoes, you step in a puddle. That you is. Step in like a little mud pad. Like, that's so like you don't wear white shoes. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. But like, well, yeah, that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a, what I'm that's saying. That's a day like, ruiner. wearing white shoes right now. They are pretty white, but we are in the basement of a, of a building. So yeah. like. I was going to say, mine, mine is like when it's really like, <laughs> if it starts pouring rain and you're out there with no... Cause I'm not a big, I don't like rain, but if, if it's pouring rain well, and you don't, don't have like a rain, rain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a rain jacket. I hate that. That's, that's the worst. It's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I don't like rain. <laughs> I don't really like sand. I don't like sand, sand. bro. Sand is my, oh my God, dude. I hate oh, sand. Oh, you're not a big you know, sand no, guy. No, I hate sand, bro. Cause I don't really like sand. You know, it's, it's coarse. It's, it's rough and it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. <laughs> Where's that from? Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh, see, <laughs> Anakin, I'm, I'm out left out Anakin, again, bro. He's out of the Anakin. But uh, I think, like, to end the episode, like, drop in the comments, ocean, like, water or sand? Like, who who, <laughs> who likes the ocean better and who likes the sand better? I guess you could say Will's an ocean guy. What are you? Dude, I don't sand? Like swim. I'm not an ocean guy. What are you talking about? Sand castles so or neither. water neither, monsters? Neither, bro. I don't know how to <laughs> swim, dog. Well, we'll yeah, work on that. Long. In the next episode, it'll be... Be us giving Will swim lessons. Oh yeah. I'm gonna die. <laughs> we'll do a tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. die. Oh my gosh. But yeah, man. I mean, yeah. talked about some more good stuff, man. It's, yeah. it's yeah. been fun. Some more good stuff. Forgot to mention. Yesterday was Valentine's Day. You know, hubba hubba. Say so happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day. This, you know, this was, it yeah. was a day. Yeah, a little bit later, right. but um. Anyway, Kobe, <laughs> Kobe. Um, yeah. wasn't my favorite holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, it's <laughs> mid. It's mid. But um. But yeah, we want to thank you all for tapping into the second episode. Yeah, um, man. I think it's we're, we're going to keep grinding these out about once per week. You know, um, yeah, every Monday at eight a.m. We're, we're dropping. Gonna, yeah, we're going to keep dropping. getting up and going. Um, 
Uh, please keep listening to us. Follow us on all the socials. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the subby. Hit the subby. You know, hit, hit, hit the bell. Hit the bell for notifications, right? Um, it's probably and, not out there. You know, I don't know how to do that. I just, I just like, I see people well, do no, that on YouTube. To I just like the bell. do that. They have to hit the bell. Guys, they have to hit the bell. All right, hit the bell. Okay. We want to thank you for uh, tapping into three guys, three dudes in their 20s because that's what we are. And um, thank you so much. And we'll hopefully see you next week. Yeah, man. There's three dudes in our 20s. Peace. Peace. Bye.